Hey, went out, did a little bit of a run here to pick up some more beer, a little bit of spirits, a little bit of champagne on this nice, sunny, but definitely cool day as we're kind of getting some uh, weird kind of weather. Feels more like early fall than anything, but uh, just thought I'd share some of the stuff I actually picked up today with you guys and some things you can look forward to possibly on the channel. I picked up a few different things. One was the uh, Lagunitas Hazy Memory IPA. Heard a lot about this one, had not seen it. So decided to go ahead and grab this one to check out for a review. And uh, saw that they had the individuals for it. And I'm a fan of Lagunitas and some of the stuff they're doing, of course. So looking forward to seeing what this one has to offer. It is an unfil unfiltered India Pale Ale. So hopefully that's a pretty decent one. I also picked up one from Highwire, which you've heard me talk about before. I actually have two from Highwire in North Carolina, and this is the Shake Your Tail Feather Vanilla Milkshake IPA Double Dry Hopped with Samba, Citra, and Southern Passion, and it is actually done in collaboration with Branch and Bone Artisanal Ales, who I'm not familiar with. Uh, artisan ales rather 6.7% uh, ABV so looking forward to checking that out they had like two left and that one caught my eye so I figured why not pick it up and cheers to you Thomas as well and then another one from them was this one here that I also grabbed one of their 10W40 series which I am a big fan of as some of you may have seen on some of the past videos that I've talked about it is an imperial style brew with chocolate vanilla coconut and lactose this one itself comes in at 8% ABV so looking forward to that being a tasty treat and then another individual I got was from Great Lakes first time I've seen this one hazy India pale ale so there's the label there as well so this is one that I just saw that I had never seen before as a limited edition from Great Lakes Brewing out of Cleveland. So looking forward to checking this one out. What's up, Todd? Cheers, my friend. And so those are kind of like the four individuals. Everything else I got were kind of in packs. One that I've been wanting to get for a bit, which I tasted at the last beer festival. Well, the only beer festival we had this year because everything got shut down. The insane OG of the G20 strain from... Uh, Sweetwater, I liked it. I wanted to do a review on it. It's a Mexican style craft lager and actually is done in collaboration with uh, Cypress Hill and Be Real from there as well. So, looking forward to enjoying these and checking those out. And you know, a run wouldn't be a run without a deal being done. So, I actually were able to snag these babies Breckenridge Imperial Vanilla Porter aged in rum barrels. And these are 12.5% uh, ABV. I got these for about $6.49 a four pack. So I picked up two of these as a great deal. So again, one of those things I just happened to stumble into. Deals are deals. Cheers, Alan. What is going on, my friend? Good to see you as well. And I'm probably going to, Alan and Todd, after I get done putting this stuff away, if you guys are around and not doing anything, I may jump on a game for a little bit too here in a bit. And then, so tomorrow, the wife was talking about having mimosas, so I picked up a little bit of Patron that she can actually have for that. She wanted Patron to put in it, along with a little bit of champagne. So this is kind of one I'd never seen before. It was kind of interesting. I thought the label was kind of pretty cool, and I ended up picking this up down at Party Source as well. So I got the champagne, I'm gonna spike with a little tequila, and then into the orange juice it all goes. And the only other thing I did pick up is this one. Now, you see me do the one with the tequila, the coffee tequila, the coffee chocolate tequila. Um, I actually picked up this today as well. And this is grind espresso shot made with uh, uh, Arabica coffee beans. And it's actually a rum, 30% ABV, 60 proof in collaboration with baristas and bartenders. It is rich with espresso bean and a taste rum. So this is something else that can be added to the coffee as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. So I'll probably be enjoying this tomorrow on Slow It Down Sunday. That'll be at 1.30 uh, right now that we're looking at on the back size. It does give you ways to actually enjoy it as well. If you're looking for ways to kind of kick back with this one. And then tonight, of course, I think 9.15, 
we have serving it up Saturday. So if you guys are around tonight, you know, we'll be doing another live stream. So hopefully you guys get to uh, check in. That being said, that's what I got today. Got to go put this stuff in the house. Shout out to Erie. Cheers. Good seeing you there as well. I uh, was just getting ready to, to ask me. Yeah, Ty, so I'm going to jump on there in a bit. Um, probably about five minutes or so. Get this stuff put away and get comfortable. May grab a brew so we can actually game and enjoy. So thanks for everybody tuned in. Thanks for everybody for all the love and support of the channel as it's built up. Just a nice little quick video from outside on a nice sunny day. A little cool, about 50 degrees here. But uh, outside of that, everything else is pretty nice. I will talk to you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Don't forget, 9.15 tonight. If you're into gaming, make sure you check out Rajay Gaming. And uh, we'll have stuff on there for that channel. And I'm going to have the new channel coming out. Uh, Rajay Hip Hop Chronicles, which I'm still working on. But hopefully I'll get that launched here next week or so with some different things. That being said, look forward to catching you guys soon. Shout out to Lep that just jumped in. Oh, make sure you check out Leprechaun TV tonight. He and Shane will be getting down on the Blackstones at 7 o'clock doing some cooking. So make sure you definitely uh, pay attention and see what he's doing out there because he has some pretty good stuff that he grills up there. And tonight it is the, uh, oh, it's the Mexican, um, damn it, I can't remember what it is now, Lep. He just told us last night, um, what is it you are making tonight? I remember the pickled carrots. Lep, what is it you're making tonight again? <laughs> um, if he puts it out there, I know it's something good. I just can't remember everything that's in it, but I know it's salsa, jalapenos, all kinds of stuff that he's looking it up for. But uh, yeah, Mexican egg roll. That's what it was, Mexican egg roll. So check that out as they put that together because you know it's going to look good on his channel as well. All right, I'm going to go out. Put this stuff away. 